Duck. Duck. Where's Duck? I can't say Duck is a cool man if I get, you know. No, sir. Man, if I get hot, hot nowadays. Duck, how you do? Dr. Leland Johns, it's great to have you, my brother. Yes, thank you very much, Vernon, for having me on your program. A, a hearty good morning to you, the staff of that state, of your powerful radio station, and also to your listening audience. Thank you very much. I hope you got a wonderful Father's Day. I think you had a wedding at your anniversary recently, yeah? Yes, yes. And yes, I hear Vernon, that, but thank you for you're, remembering. You're busy working it after. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> no, but you're you're the one who is always calling and and and, and checking up on things. So I, I really yeah. appreciate it, over. Yes, yes. <laughs> really appreciate it. What's on your mind, Doc? What's on your mind? Yes, Fernand. Um, thank you very much again. Um, last week we had um, touched on the topic of colorectal cancer. Uh, we were in the middle of it before uh, when, when, when we were, when time ran out on us. So I'm just going to use the opportunity now just to continue and to make some salient points about this, um, this, this, this really uh, disease here. Now, we had learned last week, uh, briefly uh, what colorectal cancer is. We had learned about how it was formed and some of the risk factors and the different stages that there are. In, in, when you're making a diagnosis of the colorectal cancer. Now, it's very important to note, Vernon, that of all the cancers in the world, it is the third most common, right? And really? also, yes, it's the third most common. And in terms of death rates, it is the second most deadliest. So it is only the um, first uh, superseded by lung cancer. So it's something that we have to pay particular attention to. And why it is that I want us to pay particular attention to this also, Vernon, is that it is something that we can handle. Handle in the sense that once we do early screening and so forth, we can reduce the likelihood significantly of developing colorectal cancer. A little bit of statistics here, Vernon. You know that in the United States, um, the population is 800% more at risk of developing colorectal cancer than India. Why? And, well, we're going to be discussing that further down when it comes to um, the, the prevention of it. Because yes, it's, yes. It's, 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 apart from early screening, a very large chunk of it depends a lot on our lifestyle and diet. We're going to be touching that shortly. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. Also, it was noted that in in America, the 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 the, uh, the highest risk group in terms of ethnicity and race is amongst black people. But right? that that is quite dramatic, because in the states, in terms of illness, uh, we're talking about child exactly. deaths and um, deaths at uh, births and so on. And I gather exactly. it's because of is in uh, inequality in terms of the health, uh, how certain persons are treated in terms of. Mm -hmm. And probably the same thing. Yeah, it's probably the same thing here too. Mm -hmm. Because the poor yes, it, it could persons be. can't mm -hmm. afford. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Boy. Mm. Right. But to be honest with you, there are very many layers as to, to why we have that significant disparity. But Vernon, the, but the, the flip side to it is that African Americans yes. are 65 times more likely to developing colorectal cancer than a native African in Africa. So we are drawing the conclusion that there has there is a very, very, very close association between the high incidence rate of colorectal cancers as it relates to diet and lifestyle. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, um, we had mentioned, I'm not certain, but just to go over some of the signs and symptoms, uh, you can have an asymptomatic group, meaning that you may have the precancerous form, which is normally in the form of polyps, and not have any symptoms at all. And sometimes this is just diagnosed upon, uh, we have incidental findings when you're doing the, the, the screening. Once it is that we start developing these symptoms, no, it is actually not a very good sign. And some of these symptoms include abdominal pain, the caliber of the stool changes, right? Um, you may have changes in boil habitus, 
be you may have stool frequencies or or frequent passage of stool to a yes. period where you have constipation. So whenever you have that fluctuating uh, that's between constipation and frequent passage of the stool, then now we know that something is going on. Then now when we start observing weight loss, this is really not a very good good sign at all. If you notice the stool and the stool pattern or the stool color start changing, you know, that is very, very poor, especially when the stool becomes black in color or mm. if it is or however it is accompanied with 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 with, with um, some amount of bleeding as well. Now, whenever the mass, if there's a mass and the mass has grown, oh, very oh large, dear. does it matter if the bleeding, the color of the blood is red or if it's black or different? Uh, right. Well, if it is black, normally it's as a result of the blood coming from higher up okay. the digestive tract. Normally, it's coming from the from the from the stomach, but if it is there for a longer time in the small intestine, especially in the large intestine, the, the initial part, it can become dark over time, mm-hmm. right? So we have to look at the, the, the color of our stool. I mean, there are other things that can cause stool to be to be dark colored, um, especially if you are on iron supplements. It does give yes, that, yes. That, that, that texture as well. And of course, right? you know that um, on supplements, you can end up being um, suffering from constipation. Exactly, mm-hmm. it can, right? And also, whenever you know, the stool or sorry, the, if, the, if the mass has, has actually grown to a significant size, it can start to reduce the, the the size or the diameter of the canal of the of the digestive of the um, colon. Right. And therefore, you will have some form of constip, uh, constipation. Mm-hmm. You may have nausea and vomiting, and all of this is really what we call boil obstruction. Right. No. Now that we have discovered this now, Vernon, you know, once once you're in the doctor's office and the doctor has about said, thirty seconds for the break. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, we the, 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 the treatment plan is normally offered, right? And the treatment plan would be could be surgical if it's if it's done upon uh, colonoscopy, they can remove the polyp. If it is at the advanced stage they may suggest some form of um surgery where they may reset part of the of the colon or and they may add, um, have another additional form adjuvant therapies like right. immuno or or radiation or chemotherapy right, right? right. we're gonna go for a break no. now when we come back okay, you, you can let me know if uh, if you have a challenge in terms of polyps is that an indication that that can yes. develop into cancer mm-hmm. Welcome back. You're listening to Rhythm FM coming to you live from Kingston, Jamaica. This is part of the People's Program. I'm your friend, Vernon Darby, and of course we have Dr. Leilin Johnson. I normally say from the cool hills of Mandeville, but I gather that Mandeville is getting pretty hot these days. But with Brent, um, all the at sea, uh, looking like he wants to visit us. <laughs> you never know what can happen by next week. Yes, my brother, back to you again. Right. Uh huh. So, um, you had asked a very important question uh, about polyps. Right. Now, polyps polyps are clusters of cells that form in the lining or on the lining of the innermost part of the, or the inside part of the colon. Now, a colon is a pre-malignant or a pre-cancerous form, right? It, 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 it by itself is not dangerous. It's just yeah. that it poses, it, it's untreated or... It or, or, or it remains, it has a propensity of developing into a lethal, lethal, um, um, uh, lethal, lethal form. It is, I would say, comparing it to or likening to uh, a lion, a lion cub. When it's small, it's yeah. cute and it's playful. But once that lion or lion cub grows, it grows into an adult <laughs> male lion that has the propensity of. Of, of, of harming or, or, or killing persons. It's very dangerous. It's but suppose it goes, the, if it goes it, away, you don't have to worry if it goes yes, away. Yes, once it goes away. Now, this is where we're going to be discussing the prevention yes. of, of, uh, of colorectal cancer. Now, one of the best ways of doing this, Vernon, I'm a very heavy advocate when it comes to diet and lifestyle, mm-hmm. but we should never forget about our our 
routine screening, which is in the form of colonoscopy. Oh. Because colonoscopy, yes, and it is advised that between the ages of 45 and 50, that is when we should actually start doing our, our, our colonoscopies of both, for both sexes. Mm -hmm. And even, and also, even more so whenever it is that we have a first degree relative who have had this condition, we have, have to do it even earlier and yeah. do it more frequently, right? You know, the colonoscopy is a simple procedure whereby which a flexible tube is introduced to the anus and it travels all the way through to the length and breadth of the large intestine. So it would be able to give a direct visualization of the 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 texture mm -hmm. of the of the lining of the of the core of the colon. So just in case uh, the, the, the 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 doctor sees it, uh, there may be polyp formation, right? And once it is seen, this they are normally removed. It's painless, and you come out without any problem at all. So it has the propensity of reducing um, cancer deaths between forty to sixty percent mm. because of early de early detection. Oh. Right, right. So yeah. so we have to pay that very very important. So all of us who have touched forty five and approaching fifty, we have to bear that in mind. It's time to check our doctors to ask for requests to do colonoscopies. Right. Doc, no. Doc, mm -hmm. not, don't be talking my doc over here. Normally, listen, Doc, I need to talk to your doc. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We can't play around with our no, gut. No, can't. Brenda, we can't play around with it. No. I bet you can't play with the gut for the We get a gut feeling that we need to go check it out. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love that part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Now, going now over into that and lifestyle. Yes. No, we have, there's a very large, there's a very close associations are between consuming lots of red meat and processed meats as well oh. with the incidence of uh, colorectal cancer. Mean bacon and ham and those uh, things. Thank you very much. Because these these foods or these meats, they produce a lot of unsaturated uh, saturated fatty acids and these cause the body to produce secondary bile salts. And these secondary oh. bile salts work on the inside lining of the of the of the colon and changes the structure of it and f therefore forms precancerous cells which over time develops into into malignant cells mm -hmm. and you know when you're doing when you're purchasing these processed meats they contain a lot of carcinogens including nitrates nitrates, nitrates and even some aromatic what we call aromatic hydrocarbons very carcinogenic um Meaning when you say carcinogenic, what do you mean? Please repeat. When you say carcinogenic, what do you mean? Meaning cancerous. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So it has a propensity of forming cancer. It's, it's a cancer causing agent, mm -hmm. right? So we have to bear all that in mind. So, you know, Vernon, when we go to the supermarkets, we have to shop with a lot of intelligence. Not because it's there and it's easy to prepare, it means that it's the best thing for us, all right? Well, guess what? I'll be not, not for shop with intelligence. We'll be the shop. Because, like a countryman, one me, I'm a exactly. banana, uh, cocoa. All right. <laughs> so. thank, thank you very much. Now we're going to come on to another important um, yes. part, point, which is fiber, high fiber diet. We can never overlook this vernon. The high fiber diet contains um, the, the, what we call, um, unsat, um, undigestible polysaccharides, right? Now, we had made a uh, presentation on this before. What this does, Vernon, is to feed our gut microbiome, and it enables it to make very important substances, especially with the small chain fatty acids, the propionate, acetate, and butyrate. And especially the butyrate, it acts local within the, the lumen of the colon. So it reduces the incidence of, 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 of inflammation, and inflammation tends to favor the formation of cancer cells, right? And these now also add another layer of protection to the walls of our, of our colon. Having a, high, a, a diet high in vegetables 
our plant-based diet is very, very important. And it's not just green leafy vegetables. We're talking about vegetables of different colors because they contain phytochemicals. We're talking about resveratrol in the grapes and, and um, red, red, red colored fruits. We're talking about um, uh, like green teas, green tea extracts, things like those, Vernon. We have these strong, powerful chemicals that enable the, the, the body to fight off the the, the cancer forming cells. Vernon, on a very important um, phytochemical, uh, we have mentioned it before, but I'm going to say it again. You remember this orange color? Well, some people call it, it says an orange color, some say it's a yellow color. We normally find it in our space. And this is turmeric. Yes. No, right. No, turmeric has been, I mean, it, it, it's a very well studied plant. It's a very well, and the cucumber, which is the active ingredient, is even studied very much in detail, especially in Europe. And what they have realized is that the curcumin within, once it's inside the cells, or once it is consumed, it has the ability, the ability to search for cancer cells and aid in what we call apoptosis, which is cell death. So once it finds these hosts, especially when it's in the early stages, it can cause cell death. And they have noticed this even amongst the Indians, because they realize that Indians do consume a lot of curry, because the turmeric is what makes the curry as well, right? Mm-hmm. So, so that is how we are seeing a, an association between the very low cancer rate or color cancer rate in India versus that of the Western world, where we have these high processed um, meats and a Western, Western, Western civilization that. And it, what is happening to Jamaica or to Jamaicans you know, is that we too are, are, are slowly but surely taking on these habits where we are purchasing these, uh, consuming these foods that are filled with um, saturated fats, the, 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 the oils as well that are used in deep frying and preparing some of our, of our, of our meats. We're eating a lot of meats. We're not eating or putting with it. Yeah. A fiber as well. Right. We love to eat fast. You have, you have something. A, a minute left, Doc. Right. Yeah. And and just adding to what you said the last time, yeah. our one uh, couple 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 programs about you eat fast, <laughs> you die fast. And ah, I love ah, that ah, and ah, I love that saying. Yeah. Right. All right just... So right. So in, in, in wrapping up colorectal cancer, it's it's an a very aggressive cancer, but it can be prevented. Once we, once we perform our routine colonoscopy screening and backing that up with mm. proper diet and lifestyle. Right. All right, just remind us so how we can make contact with you, Doc. Right. So I'm located at uh, 14 Caledonia Road, mm. Mandeville, at the Consolidated Health Service, telephone number 791-1090, and also the Urgent Care Facility at 39 Ward Avenue, Mandeville, telephone number 207 Thank you very much, my brother. All the best. You have a wonderful day. They are it for uh, Dr. Leland Johnson. Mm-hmm.